G'day, B Dubbed here, and how you doing? Today's video, I'm starting a new series of us building a Super Beetle into a Baja. So the inspiration for my next build came from one of my collection of uh, VW Beetles and it's this little Baja. Um, I've always liked the shape and I just really wanted to build another Baja. So yeah, um, just I like the lines, the way the uh, fenders have been shortened. Uh, bigger wheels, the fact that you can see the motor like a beach buggy and uh, they just look more rounded than a beach buggy and uh, I suppose tougher for off-road racing. Not that I want to race the vehicle but that's just really what I was looking for. Another model I really like is this one and just if you have a look at that monster engine out the back with the supercharger on the top I just this is, think this is fantastic. So you never know, maybe it'll be a supercharged Baja, maybe even a twin supercharged Baja. Uh, definitely that's an idea I'm thinking about. So my first car was a Baja Bug, and this came about in that uh, it was my dad's car that he bought brand new in 1964. It was a 1964 Deluxe Beetle. And then in the early 80s, my sisters learned to drive in the car. And between the two of them, they damaged all the fenders, uh, the front bumper and the rear bumper. And then my one sister, in fact, uh, you can see those big steel gates in the background, actually knocked those gates off their hinges and they landed on the bonnet. So the bonnet was also damaged. So by the time I got the car in the late 80s, early 90s to start fixing it up as my vehicle, first vehicle, um, I didn't know a lot about panel work. I couldn't afford new uh, steel fenders and bonnets. So the cheapest and easiest option for me was to go the Baja route, which in fact I actually like the look of a off-road Beetle. So these are just the photos uh, when I finally completed it. Um, you can see the fenders have actually been puttied to the body and smoothed out, as well as the air scoop on the back for the oil cooler. Um, obviously sprayed it purple, uh, color coded the headlight surrounds and uh, painted uh, the black for the door handles and the indicators. So that's really where I got into Bajas. Uh, really had a lot of fun with this vehicle. So when it came time to look for another vehicle, uh, I was really interested in redoing another Baja. They're great vehicles. So I was looking for a convertible and after a while I found one down in Margaret River, which is a six hour round trip. So off we went to go and collect it. So this is what I got. It's a 1971 Beetle. It is a Super Beetle with a McPherson uh, front struts. I uh, know hardcore Baja enthusiasts are going to tell me that's no good, but it's really a street Baja. It's not going to be used to bash around in the bush but uh, I will need to do something about strengthening the front of the car. It is a convertible. Um, you can see how rusted the front bumper is. And there's bits of rust all over the vehicle. The chrome on the bonnet has also been removed and the chrome trim down the side, uh, which is good. It's actually, uh, I like it like that. Um, you can see there's paint on that far indicator where they've tried to paint the chrome with a yellow. 
so all of that will probably need to be cleaned up. The headlights, I'm also thinking I'm probably going to go LED or something different. So there's quite a lot to do. So this shot is just really from the side. Uh, you can see it's got a wizard body. So it's not obviously original convertible. It's been uh, cut and done. Um, one of the nice things about it is that it's got uh, slot uh, rims, which I quite like. Um, and it came with a Monza four pipe exhaust. But again, you can see the bumpers have been uh, painted over. Um, it's had sort of extensions put onto the fenders. Uh, whatever was covering the roll over hoop has come off. You can just see the undercoat. You can also see the vinyl across the top of the windscreen with all the little studs that hold the canopy on. The canopy was also a nasty vinyl as well, which will need to be changed. And there's one of the original running boards on this side, um, better condition than the one on the other, but uh, those are going to get changed as well when we build the Baja. So this is a shot from the ins well, of the inside of the vehicle. Again, you can see the rollover hoop. Um, it was obviously covered in uh, something. Here in Australia, you, your rollover hoop can't just be raw, it needs to be padded. So it must have had some sort of covering at one stage. The back seat looks like the original seat that uh, Volkswagen original seat, but the front seats um, have come from another vehicle. Um, nice velour brown, but um, yeah, uh, multifunction, so I'm guessing it's from a Toyota or something like that. You can also see the steering wheel, a um, bit of rust on it. Um, the whole car's just a bit uh, mangy. Another shot from the rear and I wasn't particularly looking for a wizard body or a roadster body. I don't know, maybe uh, I just attract them but um, the fact that I'm going to make a Baja out of it, uh, I'm going to cut all that up anyway. But uh, um, yeah, I wasn't actually looking for a, a, a roadster body. But. Uh, yeah, the car hasn't been driven uh, for many years. Um, it's got no brakes. And we got the engine started, fired up, but uh, yeah, you can't drive it. Like the front, you can see the back bumper's also been painted over, black, over the chrome. But we're gonna get rid of all of that and we're gonna remake some bar work to go around the motor. And as well as the exhaust, that'll go too, to make way for a decent looking exhaust. The tombstone rear lights, uh, pretty good neck, but again, I'm probably gonna change those as well. So that's the engine that's, that was in it. Um, it's a 1600 twin port. You can see it's still got the old generator, not an alternator. Um, they have put a 009 distributor on it uh, without the vacuum advance. Um, you can see the coil's been moved across to the right and there's an oil filter that's hanging over from the back. So they've actually removed the standard oil cooler that stands up in the fan shroud and they've got an external cooler just lying in the back there which then comes to that oil filter. The carb on the motor is a Weber 40 DCN14 and it's on a homemade manifold. And you can see the fuel filter just there above the air cleaner. The air cleaner is a mesh type air cleaner and it's because a normal pancake or the oil bath, standard beetle oil bath filter air foot cleaner won't fit on the top of the carb because with the roadster kit it actually lowers the lid down onto the motor. You can also see where the 
vents for the heaters are. They've just put on deodorant caps and taped them to the uh, fan shroud. So there's going to need to be a lot of work on this motor if we even use this motor um, because part of the attraction of a Baja is that you can actually see the motor and so you, you want to put a bit of effort into making it look good and really presentable. So that's definitely one of the plans for the build. So once again just a shot from the front. So this is what I'm starting with and I'm hoping to build a epic street Baja that we can go and have some fun with. So uh, stay with me and um, in the next episode we'll start uh, cutting it up and making it into a Baja bug. Okay, thanks for watching, take care and God bless. Thanks again for watching and be sure to like, share, subscribe and leave me any comments.